Hello everybody, Dave Kibbe here. Welcome to my real estate video blog where I'm going to be bringing you relevant topics about our local real estate market here in the desert. Now today I'm going to reveal to you the importance and benefits of a seller net sheet when selling your home. When considering selling your home, it's important that you understand the various expenses you will incur as a seller. For example, there are multiple line item expenses such as commission, escrow, title insurance, natural hazard disclosure, termine inspection, prorated property taxes, county transfer fees, homeowners association fees, and the list goes on so it's important that you understand these fees in advance. Now let's quickly take a minute and look at the net sheet. Let's quickly take a moment and review a seller net sheet here I prepared for one of my clients. Uh, this particular gentleman lives in uh, La Quinta. The sales price of his home was $925,000 and our estimated closing date is October 30th, 2012 and any prorations will be based on this particular closing date of October 30th. With your settlement services you've got uh, your uh, listing broker fee of $27,750 which is equivalent to 3% of your $925. You also have another 3% on the selling side, another $27,750. Um, also, you'll have a recording fee that the county charges you, which is a $75 fee. There's a document preparation fee of $150. And the county also charges a deed tax of $1.10 per thousand of sales price. So $1.10 per thousand of this sales price of $925 is $1,017.50. The escrow fee is $2,050 based on this sales price, and most good escrow companies will charge you approximately $2 per thousand dollars of sales price plus $200. If anybody wants to charge you more than that, let's talk and we'll get you a great escrow company. Totaling uh, settlement uh, total services here, $58,792.50. Now a seller is always going to incur more expenses than that because they may have a mortgage, they may have home inspections. Uh, they'll have taxes to pay and so on. So let's take a look at that. This particular seller had a first mortgage of $200,000. They also had a second mortgage here of $50,000. And since they, pre, uh, they just refinanced their home within the last year, they have what's called a prepayment penalty, which is a half of 1%. They're going to incur on this $50,000, uh, and that is $250. There is a special assessments in the community they live in, their homeowners association, for repaving all the roads and re, uh, re, you know, remodeling some of the pool areas. That expense is $2,000 they're choosing to pay through escrow. Uh, seller also is providing that buyer with a home warranty not to exceed $600, and that is something the buyer and seller negotiated in their deal. There's also an owner's title policy that's $2,000, as you can see here. I also like to include a miscellaneous pad. Here I put in $250. The $250 pad is a good example of what um, some of these numbers are not exact, so that helps you uh, plus or minus on the figures. Um, there's also a homeowners association transfer fee of $250, as you can see here, because they live in a homeowners association. These transfer fees can range anywhere from $200 up to, I've seen as high as $800, it's more typical to see $250, $350 averages. Uh, let's take a look at some other uh, costs you're going to incur. A termite inspection, $95 here. Average termite inspection is about $95. The annual taxes on this particular sale happen to be $4,676. On the tax for proration, shows that the seller is going to incur a $1,584 expense here. And also, their last month of homeowners association fee happens to be $600 in the development they live in. There's also a natural hazard disclosure statement that's important that the seller discloses to the buyer, which if you like more information about natural hazard disclosure statements, I'd be happy to explain some of these in detail on a phone call. This shows here that your total other costs are $257,743.64. Plus, of course, you've got your settlement fees here of $58,792, totaling $316,536.14. Subtracted from, of course, your sales price of $925, leaves an estimated net proceeds to this particular seller 
of $608,463.86. Remember, this is based on an estimate, the estimate, I should say, of fees are based on a sales price of $925,000. And all of these prorations are based using a 360-day commonly uh, called banking year, okay? Accrued periods are calculated using the actual number of days. I hope this has been very helpful for you to, for two reasons, to understand how a net sheet works and also so you can make an informed decision from the beginning determining how you're going to or whether you're going to sell your home. So again, if you've been thinking about selling your home, be sure to contact me. We'll be happy to send you out a comprehensive pre-listing package and share with you what we're doing differently in this market to actually get your home sold versus letting your home sit on the market. In addition, in this package, this is where you'll find your, nailers, your seller net sheet. Now, of course, you'll wonder how you can determine, how I can determine this information prior to selling your home. And it's actually relatively simple. Most of the time, by noting the features and amenities and upgrades of your home after seeing it, and then looking at the recent sales in your neighborhood, then looking at the average listing to sales price percentage in your neighborhood, which is noted on the, noted on the included uh, comparable market analysis, we can then determine a ballpark figure of what your home will sell for. I invite you to forward this video to anyone that you find these tips useful. And if you know anyone that's looking to buy or sell in the area, have them give me a call. I'd be happy to help them out. My phone number is 760-340-9253. I welcome your call and thanks again for joining me and I look forward to talking with you next time.